What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to United Souls. I'm your boy Jay and today we are reviewing one of my all-time grails. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I want to start off this video by wishing everybody a happy and successful 2021. I hope this year brings us a lot more pickups for you guys and for myself so I can have it here for you guys to review on the channel. So with that being said, also make sure you guys are following me on Twitter and Instagram, UNTD Souls on both platforms. So you guys can stay up to date with everything and all the pickups I will hopefully be getting this year. And also, make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. I truly, truly appreciate your guys' support. So, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this review. As you guys can already see by the box, what I have here for you guys today is a Kobe review. You guys can see the flat black box, Kobe logo right there, his signature right over here. And what I have is the Kobe 6 Pro Tro. Colors is green apple, black, volt, and crimson. Um, I picked up a size eight and a half. Um, these retails for $180 and they released on December 24th of 2020. Um, there was an early access release on the sneakers app for this shoe. Um, I did not hit on that one. Uh, you know, hitting those early access is like nearly impossible, but I managed to get myself a pair and here we have it. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this review. As you guys can see, all black, tissue paper inside, just standard tissue paper. And here they are, you guys. Kobe 6 Green Apples, aka the Kobe 6 Grinch. Now, I did do a little bit of research on this shoe to see, you know, the history of the shoe and all that stuff. And I did find some interesting facts about this shoe. Now, this shoe uh, debuted on uh, the Christmas Day game, uh, the Lakers versus the Miami Heat back in 2010. Just found out that everybody that had floor seats to that game actually got a gift bag and these shoes were in there. Also, the whole team on that Christmas Day game uh, was decked out on Grinch themed uh, sneakers. Not necessarily the Kobe 6, but whatever, you know, Nike that uh, they, they like to wear or whatnot um, was decked out in this, um, you know, color colorway, um, you know, depending on the silhouette that they had. So I think that's you know another pretty interesting fact but uh you know people went crazy when they saw this shoe christmas day game uh you know obviously everybody wanted that shoe uh and ever since i started collecting honestly uh this has been one of my all-time grails i'm super super excited to have this shoe in hand um you know it, it's one shoe that i had always had my eye on i would always be checking prices on it and stuff like that i, I never pulled the trigger on it unfortunately kobe passed uh, this last year and then after that the the price on this shoe skyrocketed, you know uh, But luckily they re-released them and we have them here for you guys uh, So let's go ahead and get into a quick review here for you guys So the whole upper of the shoe is uh, has kind of like this a snake scale uh, Type material on it, which is kind of just like rubberized uh, But the texture uh, of it it looks really really nice right here as you guys can see right there um, if we go here to the side of the shoe, you do see a black Nike swoosh. Now that uh, Nike swoosh, I thought it was spray painted on, uh, but actually to me, it personally looks like they kind of put like a vinyl on here or something and then they melted it on there. It's just the way that it looks to me for some reason. Um, if we come here to the back of the shoe, you guys can see it has like the ankle holder with a Kobe signature here in the red. Inside of the port of the shoe is uh, identical to the outer. You guys can see the dark green fade to kind of like this lime uh, green fade that it has right there. Uh, the midsole, the upper part of the midsole is in the dark green, translucent uh, lime sole here towards the front, and then here in the back it says Nike Zoom. You guys can see it right there. Uh, and it wraps around the whole back of the shoe. Uh, if we go here to the sole portion, you guys can see they kind of added like another uh, uh, scaly snake skin type material right here. Middle portion, you get a carbon fiber plate, kind of like on the Jordan 11s. And then right here in red, you do see the Kobe logo and it fades into like the solid green uh, um, color here in the back. Now, one thing I was noticing about this shoe uh, is that 
I, I don't know why it has kind of like little red, uh, not red, black little specks here. Not, not a lot, but just a little few here and there. I don't know if it's the type of uh, plastic or rubber that they used on this shoe, but I thought that was kind of interesting. Now, if we go here to the lace portion of the shoe, you guys could see obviously that they gave us lime laces. Also, the tongue itself is in the lime all the way up to the, the tongue itself. On the tongue, you do get the Kobe logo once again in red. Uh, and then the insoles are pretty interesting on this shoe because they actually say something. So on the insoles it says, I want a shoe that molds to my foot is what the insoles say. I'll go ahead and add a picture up here for you guys so you guys could see that. I thought that was pretty cool and then it also says K KB um, on the inside as well. Yeah, it says KB on the inside as well. Now. Another thing that I always like telling you guys is production dates. This production date on this one is 6-30-20 to 8-20-20. And on this specific pair, they also gave us uh, an extra set of laces. Now, I personally think that uh, these shoes look a lot nicer with these red laces. So when I lace these shoes up, uh, I'm actually going to be swapping it to the red laces, I think. I'll probably wear them with both, you know, depending on where I'm going for the day or whatnot. Um, I'll probably be changing the laces. Now, one very, very important thing, uh, and I guess kind of unfortunate thing about these shoes, um, is that I'm usually at eight and a half, size nine, uh, depending on the shoe, uh, you, you know, throughout all my shoes. Jordan 1s, I'm usually eight and a half. Uh, Jordan 11s, I usually like to go over to a nine. Um, and these, like I said, these are eight and a half, but unfortunately they do not fit. These shoes fit super, super tight. Um, to the point that I can't actually wear this shoe. So I actually had to reorder myself another pair of shoes um, And I actually went with the nine and a half I'll give you guys an update on how that one fits compared to this one a full size up uh, Once I receive those but like I said it, When I put my foot into this uh, shoe like my toe is literally sticking out of, of, of the, the toe box here, so um, Be careful when you guys buy this shoe because of that reason, you know I would suggest half size to a full size up, uh, you know, depending if you guys are going to be wearing it all the time or if you guys are actually going to play ball in this shoe. I mean, that's your call, but uh, I had never bought a, a size eight and a half that fits this tight. Sometimes they fit snug, but this one's really, really tight. And I don't know if it might be because of, of the Pro Tro release, which, uh, you know, it's the performance version of the shoe. And if you guys don't know, Pro Tro, I actually looked this up, Pro Tro means performance retro. So. Uh, again, this shoe released in 2010 and this is the the Kobe 6 Pro Tro version of the shoe So, uh, you know, but overall I can't complain. I'm super super excited that this shoe is out uh, And available once again, I know not only myself a lot a lot of people love this shoe It is dubbed as one of the most hyped up most wanted uh, You know Kobe's and Christmas themed shoes like this is a shoe that everybody 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 wants and I don't blame them this shoe looks a lot nicer and much better in hand than it does in pictures. Um, and I can't, I really, really can't wait until um, I, I throw these on feet and uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, wear them and enjoy them because, uh, you know, again, this is one of my all time grails. So go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys' overall thoughts are on this shoe. If this is something you guys were able to pick up, looking to pick up. Uh, in the near future or, or you know complete don't like it you know I, I put up a thing on my Instagram and a few people thought that this shoe is terrible looking so <laughs> to each their own but to me green is one of my favorite colors so you know I could definitely definitely uh, appreciate this shoe so I'm very happy to have it so make sure you guys are smashing that thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel and also follow me on Twitter and Instagram UNTD Souls on both platforms so you guys can stay up to date with everything I have going on here on the channel so that's all I have here for you guys today. A quick little review on this shoe. Uh, and, you know, we'll wait for the next pickup. So, once again, I'm your boy Jay. We're United Souls. We'll see you guys next time.